today we are going to help you get a couple of key measurements that are going to help any bike shop fit you better to your bike so uh, or better recommend a bike. Um, the first measurement we're going to do is Eric's inseam measurement. Um, we have some pretty sweet appliances here at the shop that we use to measure these. I'm going to first show you with our appliances then with uh, some stuff you have probably laying around your house. So, First of all we're going to have Eric put this in. It's a spring-loaded device. It's going to come up and give us his inseam. So go ahead Eric. Now what you want to do is let it come up until he's grinning ear to ear like this. Um, then, then we're going to read his inseam measurement and that is 86.5 so what I'm going to do is write it down 86.5 and um, we're going to need that later. Now we're going to measure his torso that's from his crotch to this little depression right here in his, in his uh, sternum where his throat comes down so uh, I have a nice device for this so we're going to put it in this we're going to have him level this off just a little bit a little bit more take a nice deep breath and we're looking at just a little bit over 62 centimeters. So let me go ahead and write that down. Okay, so now we're measuring his arm. We have him grab this device like he's holding a bone arrow. Um, we go up to a little bony protrusion here. It's called the chromium process. Um, a little bit more pronounced on some people than others, but if you could probe around a little bit, you'll probably feel the bump. It's basically up from the shoulder joint just a little bit. Now we have him bring his arm down to about 45 degree angle, which is a little bit further down. Perfect, and we're measuring 64.5, so got it. Um, you can measure both sides, just so you're more accurate. Um, we're going to stick with one right now. All right, now we're going to show you how to take these measurements just with a, a measuring tape and a book. So let me grab those. Okay, here we are again. Now we're going to be measuring his inseam using a three ring binder and a measuring tape. Um, very important, you don't want a real wide book or binder because obviously that's going to uh, not allow the book to get up all the way into the crotch and it's going to give us an artificially short measurement. So I'm measuring, I'm making sure that he's got this in here parallel to the floor and I'm just measuring from the floor to the top edge of the book and I'm getting 86 centimeters. And now I'm gonna measure from the book up to his journal notch. Um, once again, book's level. And if you've got something laying around that you can transfer his sternal notch out so we can get a nice accurate measurement of his torso. We're going to do so. And uh, okay. Now, now I'm getting, there we go, 62 centimeters. Just verify that you're measuring in a straight line and that everything is straight. Um, Okay, on to the arm length. All right, so now we're measuring his arm length with a tape measure and a mechanical pencil. So we're having him grab it just like he was grabbing the uh, other tool, just nice firm in his hand. We're measuring from the chromium process, the little bony protrusion there, coming down about 45 degrees and 64 centimeters. So, got his arm length. All right, with those three measurements, your bike shop should have no problem getting you on the right bike.